everybody. <clears throat> oh my gosh. We are still here. Sorry. I'm late. My nurse was in my room for a long time. And I think she was just... We just started this... Um, convalescent plasma up here for my COVID. Um, it's a new treatment. And so she kind of had to monitor me and make sure I was okay. Make sure nothing was going on. But they are doing the convalescent plasma in hopes that it will kick this COVID in the rear end. So we're hoping. That's the news. I was on the Rendezvere <laughs> for the five days and that didn't work very well. I was still just getting sick and sick and sick. And so now we're doing the convalescent plasma. So it's basically plasma from people who had COVID and beat COVID, if that makes sense. And then they took their plasma and made it into like a drug for people like me. Um, if you're new here, my name's Tia Stokes. I'm a mother of five, major legend maze, Taz and Rose. <coughs> I am handsome to the handsome married to the handsome Andrew Stokes I'm 34 years old and I've been battling acute my leukemia the last a hundred and oh, I can't, I've lost count guys I can't even lie I need to recount again because all the being sick has just put me under I think it's like a hundred and 60 something days, 68 days now, nine days. Anyways, it's been a long, crazy journey. 71, thank you, 171 days. We have been fighting this and documenting this journey. <coughs> huh. You guys are awesome, seriously. You guys know it all. So I'm in the hospital still. Um, sick. I've been fevering. I've still been having fevers. Um, like literally I can fall asleep at any moment. It's the craziest thing. Because um, it just makes you so tired. Before... We move on any farther. Don't forget to drop where you guys are from. My mom always loved to see where everybody was from in the comments. And make sure you smash that like button. Because Maze loves it when you guys smash that like button. He does. Um... <laughs> Like it's like stuck here. I hate that. <coughs> uh, you know what I mean? When your like spit is like stuck here. Anyways. <coughs> Yeah, so today I had another chest x-ray done today, and I had another CT scan done today. Uh, they wanted to check everything, um, and my nurse called, my doctor called today, it came in today, and I called Andy, so she mostly talked to Andy, um, and she said that my kidneys have not improved, um, they've gotten a little worser. Worser. 
I don't know if that's a thing. And that my pneumonia is gotten a little worse as well. Has gotten worse as well. And so, which is why they led us to try this now, which is the convalescent plasma to hopefully kick the COVID. And they were, she was sure that it wouldn't um, have any effects on my bone marrow transplant um, and that my bone marrow, we would be fine going into the bone marrow transplant process. So, um, yeah, she told Andy that. And so she just said that. <coughs> mm. Uh, the transplant will probably most likely be in November, I'm guessing. The start of my process will probably be within the next few weeks, like three weeks. So we'll see how everything goes and plays out. So we just need prayers, you guys, so that my body can start to get better, you know, and not get worse. Um, thank you. Thank you so much. And when was the last time I got the morphine? Del Summit 2. Okay. Del Summit 2. Got it. This is Shannon, everyone. She does an amazing job taking care of me. She's awesome. Thank you. Syrup is just gross. It's gross. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. And it really is nine. I know that thing's been throwing me off it's all day. Off, but it's nine. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah, in my defense. We've been, this clock over here did not get changed, so 
that's another reason why I was late. Um, but yeah, so we're just asking for prayers, you guys. We know that prayers are real. Um, that my pneumonia will start to clear up and won't get worse anymore. I kind of, I had a feeling it was getting worse though because my, my, my spit ups were just like disgusting. Like, and they were becoming more frequent and like green and yellow and, and <clears throat> they were just nasty. And then my, what was the other thing? My, oh, the kidney, yeah. My kidney's not really <clears throat> getting any better because I had the blood in my urine. Um, but anyways, day by day, it'll be fine. We'll all just need this. But today, I actually, they brought a bike in my room. I think I showed this yesterday. And I actually rode my bike six times a day. I got on there six times. Andy called me to remind me to get on every hour. Every hour he would call me and say, hey, it's time to ride your bike. Because I only ride it for like two minutes. So he'd say, it's time to ride your bike. So I would jump on my bike, which is really good for me. I need to do that to hopefully boost my energy. Literally could just fall asleep right here and not even feel bad. It's the weirdest thing. <clears throat> Anyways. Mm. Oh. So I got a CT scan today, chest x-ray today. Um, that's the latest on the doctor news. Things aren't looking great, but just trying the convalescent plasma. Hopefully that helps with, uh, the COVID. Um, my white blood count today is 0 0.4, 0 0.4. My red blood count is 25.5, which is good. Yesterday I got a red blood count transfusion. Um, platelets today were 21, which was good because my permatocrit is, my permatocrit? No, it's not what it's called. Anyways, the number is 20. So if I'm under 20, then I need platelets. Um, but it was 21 today. And my ANC, click that drum roll, is still zero. <laughs> it's still zero. This is On Guard um, hand sanitizer. My sister sent it to me. So I literally spray it on my hands every five seconds. <laughs> I like the way it smells and it feels good. My cute sister. She sent me a diffuser and another diffuser for my room. Got some good, good, good people. Um, anyways, I think that's it for today, you guys. That's all the updates. Um... Oh, I think I showed you guys this yesterday, but I had to re I actually re-taped it up today with good tape is my Can you guys see it? My bedroom over there. See that? My pretty pictures that Tanya made me. And that the window dancers made me that poster. And then my sister Tanya made me that poster. 
So cute. Family, my world, my heart, my reason. So cute. I love it. Thank you, Tanya. A few other room decor. This cute little pink macrame one of you sent me. I love it. And this one over here, I love macrames. I'm kind of a boho-y girl. But in a hospital room, you just gotta do what you can, you know what I mean? <clears throat> Anyways, you guys, that's about it. I'm kind of, it's kind of been funny because I cry throughout the day when I hit a really hard rock bottom. I'll cry at night when I'm throwing up or when I'm by myself. When I'm by myself. I'll cry, but when I come on, when I'm here having to talk, it's almost like I'm emotionless because I'm on so many medicines and so many drugs and morphine and that I'm just like, oh, like I'm just trying to get the job done, you know? And um, I hate that because you're just on so many, literally, I'm on just so many medicines that I, I want to be able to, I can't wait till I can, like, feel again normally, you know? If that makes sense, feel normally again. Anyways, I'm not going to give up, but prayers, we need all the prayers. Prayers for my kidneys. Prayers for my um, what was I gonna say? Prayers for my what's the other thing? Prayers for my COVID that it will um oh pneumonia. The pneumonia will clear up. Just prayers. We don't want anything getting worse anymore. We don't want it getting worse anymore. It's just dumb. So, <sighs> anyways, you guys, <coughs> I'm gonna say a prayer and leave you guys with the prayer, okay? Dear Heavenly Father, we're grateful for this day. Thank you for all our many blessings. Please bless that. We may be able to be more like Thee and more like our Savior Jesus Christ. Help us that we can be able to be a shining light of Christ to all those we come in contact with. We're grateful for all our friends and all our family members that come together to pray for us and meet with us every night here. And please let them know how much we love them, how much we care about them. We're grateful again for all that we have and grateful for all the good people and help us never to take it for granted. Please bless Andy and the kids. Let them know how much I love them. Keep them safe and bless that it's Major's birthday tomorrow. That he can have a good birthday tomorrow and he can feel so loved and grateful for him. The good kid that he is and the spirit he's brought in our home. I'm so grateful for him. Anyways, we're so grateful again for all that we have and grateful for Major and the spirit he brings in our home as the oldest child. Bless him to have a good seventh year of life. He be able to always cherish it and cherish his role as a big brother. And we say these things in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I love you guys. Happy birthday, major tomorrow. And aloha means hello, goodbye, and I love you.